Oh yes, the spooky season is upon us. Patch 0.170 is out. Get in the spirit with the new spooky moon set. A certain miner's heart is now available for romantic. We know what miner's heart that is. Test your traversal skills with the all new obstacle course. Coordinate with other players using the all new flare arrows. Sort through your workbench recipes with even more filter options. Again, a lot more quality of life things. I love it. So with this new patch, we have new outfits. And I personally like that because look, your boy be looking for some new fits. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We have the traditional vampire type of set then we also have like a sage set and then we have a student looking kind of set now the one thing i appreciate with singularity 6 is when they release outfits they usually try to accommodate us but also keep the theme related to palea and that's huge as you see the vampiric set obviously it's more towards our real life right but if you look at the other two sets it looks like it's more focused around palea so i really do like that we can really role play as ourselves or we can role play as a character in the palea universe we now have new features and quality of life additions pumpkins have suddenly appeared all throughout kilima village and we also have a mystery register like all the pumpkins around kilima a mysterious cash register has appeared selling rather ghastly goods for gold ghastly goods for gold the the amount of times they make me tongue twist the patch notes is ridiculous. There we have it, Hodari is now romanceable. I really love this because the fact that they listen to the community here. There's a lot of people in my comments on Reddit and Discord saying that they would rather romance someone older because a lot of the characters in this game do look around their teens or early 20s. And I know a lot of people don't really want to be romancing someone that age. So I'm glad that they're listening. Now we have the new obstacle course. This is really, really cool, especially because the mission that we did for Sifu had like an obstacle course type of thing. So I really do love that they're adding this. Jump, climb, and glide your way across this special dreamlike space that was made using several objects found throughout Palea. There may be treasure chests with Zeki coins and some found letters scattered throughout the course, but otherwise this feature is meant to just have fun. You need to change that. No, I'm trying to compete. I'm trying to get trophies. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You can access the obstacle course by interacting with a specific arcade machine found in the black market. More of the Valley Sunrise set has been added to Zeki's wondrous machine. I love when they add new things to that. It's like, a, I like gotcha. I mean, I don't like spending money on gotcha, but I like the idea of gotcha. So they did add a proximity chat. Now they're not calling it proximity chat, but that's what it is and again i'm glad to see that so the flare arrow i'm guessing is just meant to signal it's like a real flare so that's really cool again i like that they add things to the game just because we want it that is something that like i wish every developer did you know that's something that I really love about Singularity 6, and I've always said that since day one. You can now sort your recipes by alphabetical, reverse alphabetical, ready to craft, and never craft it. I really love that. Like, what? Like, come on. This is this type of stuff just always gets me. It tears me up a little bit to know that they care. You can now open and close various bookshelves and cabinets and place even more decor inside them. Oh Lord, this is crazy. Are you serious? Crafters now support the canceling of recipes. Accidentally start a six hour Q crafting gold bars. This feature is for you. That's basically me. Adjustments, doors, hallways, and porches no longer count towards the building add on limit. That's actually really good to be real. That is the patch notes. I'm actually super, super excited for the obstacle course. Even if you're not gonna get anything, I love just doing those type of things. Um, I'm really excited for the outfits too. I'm not gonna lie, maybe I'm gonna go for it. And I really do want to get started with this spooky decoration. I really wanna do a house tour of someone who just makes like a Halloween themed like house. That would be like my dream thing to do. So if any of you guys are creative, any of you guys know anybody that creative to do a Halloween themed house or even a Halloween themed section of their house, I would really, really love to do a video on it. Of course, make sure you join my Discord and go to the Paleo House Tour to sign up for that. I, again, I would really love to see that. And if you made it this far into the video, chances are you will join my content. Maybe consider becoming a member. Not only do you get exclusives and goodies, but you also do help support the content that I create on the channel. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So again, if you are enjoying my content, check out that join button down below. See what it has to offer. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And until next time, know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. We'll lock them.